This mechanical keyboard features a very interesting knob design and a lot more for a pretty affordable price point. This is a Lumen Key 75 V2 sent over by Lumen Key themselves for my honest review. This keyboard starts off at a price point of $179 and comes in four different color options and a wired mode or tri mode connectivity and will be available in stock on February 26th. So this is not a group buy which is awesome to see. The unboxing experience of this keyboard is quite nice and feels very premium, which is always nice to see. They do include a switch and keycap puller and a cable. The color variant I have here today is the orange white, which I'm surprisingly a big fan of. First thing you'll notice is the knob design on the top right hand corner is very interesting. It's more of a roller than it is a knob, so you can kind of keep spinning it as like a fidget toy if you wanted to too. It works perfectly fine and it keeps up with how fast you're rolling it which to me was quite surprising. I really like the two-tone keyboard design for only the top right hand corner and it kind of has a divot where it's lower than the actual keyboard itself which makes it easier to access when rolling it and doesn't get in the way of any of the keycaps. Speaking of the keycaps, they are pretty decent quality and the printing and legends on them is not like superb in like a GMK set or something, but it's definitely passable. And I really like the novelty keycaps they included. One is a switch, etc. And I think they look very clean. A small detail I noticed on this keyboard is the fact that in the front, there's a little lip that extends for all of the alpha keys, but then ends at the arrow keys, which not only looks good, but serves as better functionality or comfort if you are used to cherry lips on keyboards this one still has it but just with a tiny twist the side profile of this keyboard is pretty standard you know there's nothing too crazy about it but i do think the back design is quite interesting instead of your typical back weight we are looking at something a little bit different with no back weight and it has this circle logo which Honestly, I think looks quite cool and somehow fits the theme of the keyboard in my opinion. And I do like the subtle branding they have as well. I like when keyboards do something different, even though this is kind of on the back and you won't really see it. It is nice to see this instead of your standard gold or brass back weight. Now in terms of things that I'm not a massive fan of, it has to come down to the typing sound of this keyboard. For this price point, I don't like the fact that they're loading this keyboard up with so much foam. You won't really get the sound signature of the board itself because it's filled with PE foam and plate foam and case foam and all this stuff that makes it sound very generic. This keyboard would have done much better in my opinion without the PE foam and with less foam in general as I don't really think it needs it. That would also help the flex and the feel department as well because obviously that foam hinders that area a bit. Now here's a quick sound test you guys can hear how it sounds. Overall, I think Lumen Key did a great job with the design, but I do think the sound department is still on the generic side due to that PE foam. Of course, you can always remove it, which I personally would recommend doing if you want a more unique typing sound signature and a better typing feel, as that'll give the keyboard more room for flexibility and a softer typing experience overall. But besides that, if you are interested in the Lumen Key 75 V2, I'll be leaving it in the description below for you to check out. But let me know what you guys thought about this keyboard in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.